everyone, Beatles are through to back again. And it's time for a deck review. In fact, I'm going to make it one of my world famous double deck reviews. Yay. Uh, also, a card class I did yesterday, people were saying I'd done it before. I don't remember doing it. I just got it on my list. If I did do it before, I apologize if it was a repeat. It might be that I did it a... Uh, comparison before when I did a rounders review or something like that I don't know but anyways let's look at this first of all the bicycle allure I've already reviewed it but this is the gilded edge deck so basically it's the same thing on the box if you haven't seen that review go check it out and your back design it does have a reveal in the barcode it says your card is the king of clubs Right there. And the only thing I can see it's different is the seal says gilded on it. Because it is. And it's my understanding that they're not making gilded decks anymore. So this is the last one they ever did like that. And or they're changing the way to do them. I'm not really sure. Open it up. You get basically the same thing. Same faces and everything. One thing you will notice is there's no more gold borders because apparently they don't do gilded edges. Apparently, you can get the gilded edges in gold, but they they won't do gold borders. So that's the main difference between the regular allure deck and this gilded one is that you get white borders instead of gold borders. You do get the same gaff card, which is just a golden jack of spades your back design same thing again white border that's what it looks like with a white border in the original the regular one you get gold borders which look really cool but again apparently they would not gild give them gilded edges with gold borders you do also get your double backer and then everything else is the same number cards the court cards and there's your ace one of your aces the jokers which is kind of interesting an angel type woman and there's another ace oh, funny the other joker is not so nice because it's harder to see the image Whereas this one, you can actually see it. And there's your ace of spades. It says a lot of playing cards. And the same spade pip and everything. Basically, it's the same as the regular one, except for white borders instead of gold borders and gilded edges. And they handle just about as good as they will with a Gilded Edge. They actually fan better than a lot of other decks that I've seen or had, <laughs> to be fair. But they don't fan very well and spread or anything like that. Actually, they spread very decently, but fanning, they don't. These are obviously not for performing, they're for collecting. You can get these right now at TPX Designs, which is the website from Allure. I think they're like 15, 16 bucks, something like that. A little bit pricey, but definitely collectible. And that is that. Let's look at the other one. This one is the newest Cupid back from the USPC. It's the first time that they've actually released it on a um, such a big scale. Usually, like they've had. A couple in the Heritage sets, they had the Vintage Design set. Those were all limited releases, just as a part of that set, that series. And then that was it. And then there was the so-called Gold Cupid Backs from Ace King Playing Cards, which are also obviously limited. And they don't print them anymore. These ones are, as far as I know, unlimited. You can buy them on Bicycle's website. They'll probably be... Available at Walmart's or Target's in the States at the very least, I would imagine. 
they only come in red, which is fine because it's the Cupid deck. It's all about, you know, love and Cupid. So red it makes sense to me. Although if it came in blue, it'd be nice as well. So to find fairly standard bicycle Cupid back playing cards. And then you got the spade people with the Cupid on it. Lyricus and Finnis made in USA. First in fun, yay, bicyclecards.com. Uh, standard size, standard face, and then barcode and whatnot. The back, you see the back design, and you get a standard seal. Uh, nothing important on the flap. Inside, you do get a informational card. It says keep it back number 21. And it says, it was originally introduced in 1894, the bicycle keep it back. Known as the Chera back to some collectors. It's used until its discontinuation in 1943. And it says, We are excited to reboot this treasure design to be enjoyed by all from the collector to the casual player. So it's once again being printed unlimited. You just get standard faces, number cards. You get the guaranteed Joker. Very standard. Standard court cards. The other Joker is kind of cool. It's standard except it says Big Joker instead of just Joker, which is kind of cool. You see that on some vintage decks. So some of them have Little Joker as well. It just technically has a Little Joker, but it doesn't say it. It just is because it is. <laughs> you can do Joker. And that's basically it. <laughs> uh, your Ace of Spades is your standard bicycle Ace of Spades. And that's that. There's no real big surprises. This is the biggest surprise in the whole deck. That's the only customization. Is that it says Big Joker instead of Joker. The cards handle pretty nice. For some reason it seems like they have made these cards, the bicycle stock, even thinner than before. Ah! As you can probably tell when I'm definitely I'm finding that for some reason the stock nowadays is a lot more flexible than before, almost like a, an aristocrat stock. With the person finish. But anyway, that's what you get. It's basically a standard deck. Slight modification to the one Joker. Nice back design. Uh, I don't know if I really sold it to you, but there it is. The cupid's on there. It's pretty nice. I find that a little bit different than like the, the gold keep it backs and whatnot. It's definitely a little bit different than when uh, you get the vintage design or the heritage series where they, well at least in the vintage design they have a, I believe it's the vintage design deck they have the vintage ace of spades. Heritage design not so much but anyways that's basically what you get. It's fairly standard. It's nice if you don't have one of your collection pick them up. Stop bicyclecards.com or anywhere else they sell bicycle cards <laughs> like B and Poker World. I'm sure we'll have them. The one I jack, I'm not sure. Poker Stud 52 on eBay, we'll more than likely have them. And that's that. It's a nice stack, even though it's standard. Mm, I wasn't expecting anything more than that, so it doesn't disappoint me at all. That is that. This time I mean it, and I'll see you next.